Uh, Hello, three. everyone. I'm Ying Li Gong from Tianjin University, and uh, I'm under the guidance of Associate Professor Di Jin. Thanks for the support of the organizing community of the Web Conference 2022. Here, I will present our work on graph neural network for hair order dependency networks. First, I will introduce the background and the motivation of this work. Then, there are the framework and the experiments. Finally, I will conclude this work with some insights. Graph data is ubiquitous in life, and most life things can be described by graph structure. For example, the left is Zachary's Karate Club network, and the right is the character-character interaction graph derived from the less miserable novel. In these graphs, a node represents a person, and they are connected by undirected and unweighted edges, which indicates the existence of a relationship between two persons. In our work, we treat them as conventional first-order networks, these networks all allow the Markov property, that is, whether there is a relationship between any two nodes on the graph depends only on themselves and has nothing to do with other nodes. In fact, there is a kind of sequential network that well, it's the Markov property described above, taking the web click stream network as an example. A page usually contains multiple links to related content. When a user clicks on a new sport website due to a search for health issues, the next page collected is often also content in the health field, and this relationship will pass on. Similarly, when the user browses for entertainment, the next page collected often involves leisure and entertainment information. In other words, when the user selects the next page to browse, it depends not only on the current page, but also on the previous page, or even earlier pages. The difference between first-order network and the higher-order network is shown on the left and the right. Recently, Graph neural networks, especially graph convolutional neural networks, are receiving a lot of attention from researchers. It generates node embeddings by aggregating the information in the node neighborhood through a message passing mechanism which effectively improves the accuracy of downstream tasks, such as node classification and link prediction. However, existing graph neural networks with good performance on conventional networks ignore the higher-order dependency and thus cannot work well on the higher-order networks. So, Aiming to the above introduction, we know that uh, there are a kind of sequence-based networks that are not follow the Markov property. They can be built as higher-order networks. Higher-order networks contain rich higher-order dependency, and they are not suitable for conventional first-order network representation. Existing graph neural networks with good performance on conventional networks 
cannot work well on higher order networks. We want to solve these problems from the following aspects. First, finding a way to define the higher order network paradigm which is distinguished from the conventional network based on Markov hypothesis. Then, we want to find a way to relieve the performance limit of existing graph neural networks on higher order networks. Also, we will propose a new end-to-end -end graph neural network model which is specifically designed for the dependency information in the higher order network. This is our framework with four parts. In the first part, we extract the higher order dependency in sequential data. Only when the predecessor significantly affects the successor, both the predecessor and the successor form a higher order dependency. We use the conditional probability of node appearance as an evaluation. Under the condition that node Vp appears at time t, the probability of node Vq at time t plus 1 is defined as formula 1. Furthermore, considering the situation where node VO appears at time t minus 1, the probability is defined as formula 2. Second, building high order dependency networks. According to the order of the nodes in the sequence, the edges between two nodes are established in turn. At this time, the network has satisfied the first order dependency. After extracting higher order dependency, adding higher order nodes into the conventional network, the edges in the network are adjusted by the higher order dependency. And then we propose SOGNN which combines the two steps of extracting higher-order dependency and constructs higher-order networks and integrates with existing graph neural networks. It is also worth noting that since a node in a conventional network may be mapped into multiple nodes in a higher-order network, the representation of each node ob obtained by its OGNN processing does not contain the complete information of the original node and cannot directly correspond to the original node. At this time, the mapping from the nodes on the higher order network and to the conventional network nodes is required. Here, based on the previous mapping relationship, we erased the representation of multiple higher order nodes in order to obtain a node representation that contains complete information. Also, a new end-to-end -end graph neural network model is proposed. We don't need to construct a higher order network. The higher order dependency information directly acts as a neighbor aggregation controller. Higher order neighbor information on higher order dependency can be aggregated to the target node at a time. This reduces the loss information caused by multiple transmissions. To evaluate the effectiveness of two models, we use one simulation dataset and two real-world datasets. There are the 
statistics of true datasets. We use link prediction as the validation task because it can show the importance of higher order dependence relationships. Here we use two classical network embedding algorithms based on random work, two graph neural networks, and uh, an integrated model to be compared. We didn't compare with methods for higher order networks because there have been not GNN models for this type of networks. The results are displayed in these two tables, which show the results of link prediction in terms of AUC and the F1 score, respectively. The best two results are shown in bold. Compared to GCN, the performance of our HOGNN and HOAGNN have big improvements. These results support that the dependence in higher-order networks are very important for network representation. We will finally summarize the main contribution of this work. We pay attention to the higher order dependency hidden in the sequential data network. Define the higher order network paradigm, which is distinguished from the conventional network based on Markov hypothesis, and explore the multi order dependency in the higher order network. We propose the first graph model to deal with the higher order networks that contain rich dependency information. It is easy to integrate into existing graph neural networks to realize the mapping of nodes and edges in conventional networks on higher order networks. We further propose a new end-to-end -end graph neural network model. The dependency information in the higher order network acts as a neighbor aggregation controller. It implicitly uses the higher order network dependency in order to achieve the neighbor information dissemination and aggregation under the guidance of the higher order dependency. The above is all the content I have presented this time. Thank you.